Hello and welcome to IO Live. I'm Florina Montanescu, your host, and I'm here with Matt Henderson from Google Play. Hello, Matt. Hi, super excited to be here. So tell me, what's new in Google Play for developers? There's tons of new stuff launching this year, uh, broadly speaking in three areas. So we've got a whole new format, a new app model uh, that's launching today. We've also got a bunch of new features that help developers to do testing and prevent bugs in their apps. Uh, and we also have some features launching today which help developers to manage their business and to grow their business on Play. Okay, this uh, new app model sounds interesting. Can I hear more about it? Yeah, so uh, there's really uh, two new different things that we're launching within the app model. So one is the Android app bundle. And that's a new format, a publishing format that a developer can use. It enables them to reduce the size of their app. Uh, with the Android app bundle, makes use of a play technology, play dynamic delivery, and together it uh, serves the optimal APK for a user's uh, given device. And so it optimizes for the user's specific uh, CPU architecture of their device, it optimizes for the, uh, the screen densities, it optimizes for the, uh, the user's um, languages that they speak as well. And so by only sending the parts of the bundle that the user actually needs. It means that the APK that goes to the device is a lot smaller, and that in turn enables uh, much better install conversion rates, uh, enables uh, lower uninstall rates, because when the app sizes are too big, users react badly. And so that's something we're launching today that I think is gonna be a big win for developers. And you also mentioned something about testing. Yeah, Tell me more. so, uh, you know, as developers, you, you'll have noticed if you're during the release process, uh, it's a time of, of risk because you can have bugs going out with a new release and uh, we have new testing track features that help to reduce that risk and so the, um, you can now use Play Publishing for uh, testing and sending out the, the APK to up to 100 internal dog food testers. Um, so that's the internal testing track. We also now have multiple testing tracks for closed betas. Um, and then uh, also to help you reduce the bugs in your apps and improve app quality, there's some new features in Android Vitals and new features in the pre-launch report. In Vitals, we have new metrics like uh, app startup time. We've also launched a new overview page in Vitals that draws uh, your attention to anomalies. If some of the Vitals metrics uh, are particularly bad, then it'll highlight those to you so you know which ones to prioritize with the pre-launch report, so that is the uh, automated crawler that tests apps prior to them going into production. And we've launched some new features today that enable you to reach further into the corners of your app that the crawler might not have otherwise reached. Um, features like a developer can, um, can do record scripts in uh, Android Studio that help the crawler to go into particular parts of the app. Uh, game developers, if, you're, if you use OpenGL, you can um, create demo loops that help the pre-launch report crawler to reach different parts of your app as well. And so all these features will mean that once your app hits production, it's been much more scrutinized, eliminating more of these bugs. We're launching a new app dashboard in the console which summarizes a range of different statistics. It's, I think, uh, much easier at, at, at drawing the user into um, the most important metrics. You can also configure the page now as a, depending on which ones are priorities for you. Um, and we have some new business uh, stats that we're launching as well. For subscription developers, if you have a subscription model, there's now um, a more complex view uh, to understand it at a greater detail of different subscription states, subscriber states and uh, how you benchmark retention for your app versus other apps as well. Um, you can look at new metrics like average revenue per user. Uh, you, there's new, um, uh, new data about the uh, acquisition and user retention funnel. There you can also compare your stats for your app against a benchmark for peer apps that are functionally similar. So all of these things hopefully um, help developers discover opportunities that can enable them to grow and be successful on play. Okay, perfect. Lots of new things for developers, but also for, uh, for the business side. Thank you, Matt. This is Florina for IO Live.